Hey, you're Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is a uh, engine that we just got done doing repair work and some modifications for uh, Aaron Peoples. And this is going in his 69 Charger. Obviously Hemi. It's a 528 cubic inch motor. Uh, Keith Black, black aluminum block, a stage 5 head, stage 5 valve train. You can see he has a single uh, 4, well, probably an Indy manifold I would guess. Uh, converted into EFI. Um, so this thing uh, was already all done and just had a lot of valve train problems and in fact couldn't get on the chassis dyno let alone off the chassis dyno or anything else because without breaking rockers and having issues. So uh, he brought it to us to figure out the valve train, figure out why stuff was breaking and then to dyno it and do the tune work on it. So we fixed all our valve train issues with this and have that all solved out. And now uh, we're you know working through uh, the uh, uh, pump gas tune because this is a pump gas car and a uh, uh, Q16. So you can see twin 94 millimeter turbos on uh, 528 cubic inch Hemi. Intercooled. On pump gas, so 93 octane is what pump gas is for foreigners, they don't quite know that. And uh, at least around here, uh, 92, 93. And then we're going to go do a, a Q16 tune with it since it's in a cool. So this is his whole hot side. So this actually is where the turbos mount in the car, just not the intercooler. He has a, uh, an intercooler, must be in the, in the cab with him because uh, the throttle body is normally turned around backwards. So anyways, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a guessing competition. I just finished up actually the, the pump gas tune with this. So 17 PSI, nice, easy, safe number. I mean, I could probably lean on it a little bit harder, but this makes more than the number he's looking for on pump gas. So uh, 17 PSI, 93 octane, intercooled, uh, 528 Hemi. Uh, other thing, give me your best guess on horsepower. Then I'm going to do, go in and uh, we're going to do this uh, Q16 tune on 30 PSI a boost. So 528, uh, Q16, 30 PSI. So give me your best guess at 17 PSI pump gas, 30 PSI uh, Q16 race gas. And uh, this is all being controlled by uh, FuelTech FT600. Um, I like the FuelTech stuff. Use it, tune it. Uh, it's my one of my go-to systems. One of two go-to systems they have. We're using their boost controller, uh, which is down there. Nice little uh, block style boost controller. Uh, works really, really darn accurate. Everything looks really good on this entire thing. In fact, one of the things that you'll notice too is that. This is not a coil-on plug deal. Most everything we've been doing uh, recently, you know, obviously is coil-on plug, uh, but this just is uh, using a 7AL ignition box that's on my dyno. That's just one that stays on the dyno with that coil. And uh, uses the distributor just as a cam sink and then uh, uh, crank trigger down below. So anyways, I'm going to uh, put this camera down and we're going to... Uh, uh, make a pull on this thing and we'll look at the numbers uh, and I'll get back with you on the winner of the pump gas and race gas combo. So you got to guess both of them. I'll put, add them together and then uh, come up with the closest to uh, the pump gas and race gas uh, actual numbers.